Hello everybody. So today we are going to learn about a very important concept, inheritance in Python. It is very important because it is a main building block of the object-oriented programming. So you must be very uh, clear about the inheritance. So let's see over here that if there is a house and uh, it is belong to a father, father is only one house. And um, now what the benefit a son could have that instead of uh, reconstructing its own house, it can Mm, reuse or of that house that is belonging to the father uh, and in inheritance. So uh, the son is getting a very uh, major benefit of getting this house free of cost. So uh, in programming language, what uh, the uh, uh, things can could happen for the inheritance? You could see over here that if we are having the two classes, salaried employees and only employees. So what is happening over here? In the red, you could see that there are uh, some attributes that are in repeats, and there are some methods that are in repeat in the both classes. So uh, instead of omitting these uh, redundant um, attributes and the methods, uh, what we do, we create another class that is called the parent class that is having some attributes and having some methods and that are in common in the both classes. Then in the view that you could see over here that the parent class is opting those common attributes that are reusable in salaried employees that are reusable in all the employee and the this is called the parent or the super class in object oriented programming and this is called the child or subclass uh, in the um the notation or in python because python is also uh, the object oriented programming so let's start with the demo uh what would uh, happen for uh, the uh, parent uh, and the child classes in Python. You can see over here, I'm creating one class employee, and uh, it is uh, uh, having one function in empty, right? Uh, with and uh, uh, self dot meaning equal to and self dot uh, I am just defining the two variables over here that are in common in the child classes. Uh, and I am simply printing the information of the both uh, attributes. Mm -hmm. Now what uh, I could uh, do, I am going to create another class that is a child class, salaried employee. And it is having one parent class, employee. And that's it. Now what would I do? I can define its own function, salary. And I can print the information of Right. Okay. So that's all. Now I am going to create uh, one object that is belonging to the salary employee. Uh, okay. I forgot about the constructor. Uh, that's it. E1 dot. You could see now I can get the information of the parent class E employee ID, employee details. After that, one dot. Salary, and now I can run it. See, that's it. So I'm getting salary, and I'm belonging to the child class. I'm accessing the information. I'm also accessing the information from the parent class, but just only by adding the brackets and adding the information of the employee. So this is called the simple inheritance. There are uh, many types of inheritance, inheritance that I will discuss in my later videos. That's all from my side. Thank you so much.